Hi everyone, trust you're doing good. Quickly, I'll be showing you how to integrate or paste tag to React Native. React Native using TypeScript. A lot of people have complained about it and it seems there's no handy solution. So just watch out for these and see how you can integrate everything all together. They're working perfectly fine and I will tell you some of the issues that people are facing so that you can correct it and also implement the same view, the same, the same uh, idea on your project. So quickly without wasting time, the first thing we want to do is we want to, we want to go to paste tag. Let's load paste tag and then if you're not, if you're not signed, if you do have an account there, you, you need to create an account. But for those who have already have an account, so I'm just going to log into my own account and get back to you. So this is my this is my own account. So under your account, if you're logged in, you will want to go to the sidebar, and from the sidebar, you look at settings. So you go into settings, take this out. Let's wait for settings to load. So in your settings, in your settings, you will see where we call API keys and webhook. So you go to API keys and webhook, and please take to the instructions they are giving you. These keys are for testing only. Please do not use them in production. And then in life, you don't want to joke with your secret key. You see, that's why it's even encoded. So but for now, the only thing we need, all these are text, text script uh, keys. So we're not going to use them in real life situation, in live production. So we we'll need this public key, this text public key. So you just copy, copy the text public key. That will be from your own account. This is from mine. So you don't want to use this. I might even go and change it. So I'll copy this public key. Copy this public public key and bring it somewhere here. Let's just save it somewhere. I'm going to save it in here somewhere. So I'll paste it here and save it here. So we save it here and um. The next thing is I've created this uh, UI based on my existing project. Your existing project, you can check the, you can check the the my channel to see the project from beginning to the end. It's an exciting project, and you love it. You don't want to miss that. It's a full stack e-commerce project, so you can just go there and see what we've done so far up to this point. The most important thing is I just want to show you how the React uh, the paste stack is done based on request. So we've had the address, the user address, all the user information, everything is there. So we just want to make payment, and we want to be using paste stack integration for that. So we come here, so we choose the address. Let's I'll choose this address. This is beautiful, isn't it? Then um so this is where the whole thing is happening. I'll just show you the, the code that I use there. So for so we had the component for the cart payment and the cash payment. You can check the tutorial. So this is the code that we use to render the the render this beautiful UI. This is the one for cart payment that we'll be using, and then we said we so when the use when we click on the cart payment now, if the card payment is click it will trigger this code and then it will ask pay with debit card pay online and if you say okay if you say proceed then it will now do our what our our pay stack our pay stack it will now link to our pay stack gateway payment into uh, gateway so that's what's happening here and if you say cancel it will take you back so that's what we are going to use now to link to our pay stack but before we do that we need to install some dependencies some packages rather to install npm install we're going to install, we need React Native Web View. Web View, and we need React Native Paystack Web View. So these are the two packages we will be needing. So let's quickly install them. So while they are being installed, we will come here and let's write the API to connect our Paystack. So the first thing we want to do is we'll come here because we need to trigger it so it has been successfully installed so we need to trigger we need to call that paystack api so to make that paystack api call the first thing we'll do is let's we'll use a use state so we'll use a use state let's come here where we undo our payment so i'm going to say so let's say constant p and set p go to use state so use it from react we are using use it from react and we're going to be taking boolean so boolean that's our type check so and the first the initial state will be false so that's what we want to write then we also take the email because paste will we ask you for the email so it's a requirement it's compulsory if not it won't run it's compulsory so we're getting it from our selected address that's the user address that it has been done in the project like i said so you can just check it out so but my major concentration now is just to show you how to integrate paystack payment so the working paystack payment how to do that so 
So we're going to get the email. So we're getting the email from the user address information that was submitted, the one that we clicked just now. So we'll come down here. We come into our payment here and we'll say if if new if new email the one we just said now and the total we want to know the total the total of the user card of the of the user order the order that the user wants to check out we want to know the total so if they are true if they exist if there's if there's an email if the email is not empty and if total is not empty too so that means so that's what we're saying if they are true we want to set pay into to true so that it can run the you can connect to our pay stack um, api else so else so we'll give it an else function and then say let's say console for now let's just say console.log so that we can see what happened so we can see the error it will say fill in all the fill in all the fields or oh, the field is empty so that's what we're going to do here so this is where we render the the card payment component that i showed you earlier on so we'll come into our pay stack here so we'll come into pay stack here and then we'll write we'll call the pay we'll call the pay that's if if pay is true that's what it means if it's true remember we set it to false so we're saying if it's true the pay stack directly here so let's just import pay stack so we're going to import pay stack from react native pay stack web view so that's just what we need to do there then we'll come down here and um We'll come down here and call that pay stack so you can see pay stack so we're going to be passing some parameters into that so let's call the phone we'll be using the phone and the phone will be we'll get the phone from the selected address and then inside our selected address there's a mobile i told you is based on the previous on the existing e-commerce project so you can check that out to get these and you can see from the from my app my app you can see the address that the user selected and you can see the phone number is there so we have some of the informations there too just for you to see so we have the total will be the total cart item and then the billing email it's very important if not it will not work it will throw an error so we'll make the billing email equal to the new email we created and then we have we have the billing name so we'll get the billing name from the address too so selected address dot let's just use the first name then we'll we need the currency i'm going to be using nigeria naira so we need the the pay stack key now so you see it's already bringing it up so we're going to use the test key here so you can get your own test key if not any transaction you made will will be sent into my into my own account instead of using it from your own pay stack account and you want to you don't want that to happen please don't do that so then i'm going to write on cancel so if the user canceled it at any point will return a response and the response we're going to make it any because it's paste that will be returning the response so we don't know the type of red we cannot decide the type right now since it's not generating from us so we're just saying console the log the response so it's going to generate the response and then on success so on success we are going to write a callback function as well and we're going to make it an async function it's very important that you use an async function so that it will wait for the transaction to be completed first before it returns the success function i think that's how it should be the transaction has to be completed first before you return a function so these are the little little mistakes people made that that's why it's not working it needs to wait it needs to await the completion of the transaction the whole linking up and then it will generate the completion first before it returns what the unsuccess function because before it runs the unsuccess function so that's it so check out for that that's some of the mistake that's one of the mistakes so we're going to write we're going to write the response so let me see response let me call it response you can call it anything and it's going to be so we're going to say response we're going to take the transaction transaction ref and then we're going to take message then we're going to say if response if response equal to approved if it's approved if it's equal to approved so we're going to run this function we're going to say const let's say const response equal to so we we'll now await we we'll await axios so i created an api that we use to submit the user the user uh the user cart the user order rather 
so i created the api in the back end so i'm just going to show you the api from the back end so we'll use axios so from our middleware this is it so we'll copy it and then come back to it here and then write axios so we import axios axios has been imported so so this is the api so it's a post request we're going to post the the user order object i'll show you the user order object so we'll post it to the back end so it can submit in our database and then complete the transaction so in your own case you put your own uh, post request there there's nothing serious about that so after that in our back end we are supposed to get a response if the user order has been submitted and saved in the database we're supposed to get, we are going to get a response and the response is is um is status 200 we gave it a status code of 200 so that response is what i'll take here and then the response so i'm saying if response does status if response does status is equal to 200 that means the order has been completed successfully so so we can do let's just say a lot dot a lot a lot dot a lot order placed successfully so that's just what we're going to do here and uh, okay you may want to navigate okay let's just leave it and just say other place successfully so it's up to you you can then choose okay in case you don't know what to do there so let me just do navigation don't navigate so that you want to redirect to another screen once is that your home screen or your index page whichever page you want so i'm going to navigate to my home screen and since I'm using TypeScript, this is where I'm going to call it up. So inside that, there's screen, and then there's home. So it will take me home. So that's it. And then if we want to empty the cart, we wrote a dispatch function too. So all these things have been done in the project. I'm only showing you how to do paystack integration. So, so that's all. And wow, this is all we need to do. And then after writing that, we'll come here and start stack so we say auto start and we're going to link it equal to our pay the pay function that we wrote earlier on that's it and that's a that's all you have to write that's all you need to do to make it work and i'll save that now so you can see it's throwing an error so that's the second thing and i want to, i want to address the second issue i want to address you can see it's throwing an error this error came because when you install when we install the react native web view this the version that was installed is not uh, is not accepted that's why it's not connecting so we need to in, we need to we need to upgrade the version the default version that you install won't make it work that's a problem so what you will do what we can do here is we will try i will show you what's really happening so i'm go i'll go back i'll go back and rerun my mentor bundler now so that you can see where the error is coming from that's all you just need to do there are a lot of people trying to tell you do this do that do that no no no, no. it's just from the react native web view that's where the problem is there's nothing wrong with the code we have written so we'll just come back to our terminal here so i'll go back to the terminal because if you try to load this now it won't work it won't work at all so we'll go back to the terminal and what we can do we stop the server try to rerun metro bundler so while you are trying to rerun metro bundler i will show you where the error came from it will show you where the error is so that we can fix it so i will just come here and close my stop my terminal so so i'm going to say i'll stop the server right i'll stop the server so i'll come here and say expo mpx okay let's say expo mpx expo start so let's start the server again so you can see the error is already coming up that's in yellow color so you can see it's telling us that the following package will be updated for best compatibility compatibility with the installed expo version so and you see it's saying react native web view so this is the way this is why it's not working so the react native web view that was installed is 13.10.5 and it's telling us he wants it's telling us to use what 13.8.6 so that's the expected version for it to work so what we are going to do here we just copy this react native at 13.5 and change it and install 13.8.6 so we can just open a new terminal here that's where the problem came from so i just say cd let me navigate to our package cd e-commerce app and then here we're going to say npm if you like you use yarn npm install then i'll press it and change this to 8.6 and that's all you need to do 8.6 it asks for 8.6 right yes 8.6 so 13.8.6 so you you just come here and say so we say npa install 
npm install react native at yes that's all so let's bring this closer npm install react native web view at 18.8.6 so that's all we need to do so it will change it from if you look at it it's 13.10.5 so it will change it to 13.8.6 now so we can use it so you see and because of that we need to rerun our metro bundler so i just wanted so you see it's changing it it's making updates you can see it has changed 13.8.6 so now that we've installed the latest package now we need to rerun our metro bundler so that it can bundle this this is another bundle now it's different from the one we are, we are using currently so what we'll do is take out this we're going to take this out and then we're going to see mpx we're going to rerun mpx expose start so that we can use the latest bundler the bundle the latest metro bundle so let's use normally i would have gone to clear my existing server yes but there's no time for that so you can do that also you just clear all the existing server so you can run um the new so you can restart so that it won't have, it won't change the port so you can restart a new server so let's switch back it's live so this time still have my product this is a beautiful ui right you can check the project it's awesome so this so if we go now you can see cool this is working very perfect this is working well no issue it's loading and connecting to paystack fine you can see and we have what 1500 naira. that's the price and then you can see the email is also appearing here this is cool and then i'll choose what success we choose success and then send pay hit pay now and you see successful this is good isn't it this is beautiful this is beautiful and that's it so that's all we need to do with I hope this worked well for you. Enjoy and uh, keep building. Check this tutorial. You can check my full tutorial out. That's e-commerce, TypeScript, React Native e-commerce project with MongoDB. You can check it in my channel and a lot of exciting futures to learn. Please let me let me get your feedback from the comment section. I'll appreciate